Welcome back to Briggs on Books. I'm your host, Mike Briggs. We're not new here. The name's new, Briggs on Books. We used to be a, a, a Central Valley Regional talk show, but now, because of COVID, we had to learn Zoom, and we've been interviewing people all over the world, international uh, authors coming on our show, and we're very excited to have them every day now. Uh, I'm very excited about this next guest, uh, who is in a way international, in a way local, because she's lived all over the world, Janie Jerkovich. Welcome, Janie. Hi, thank you for having me. And what do I mean international? You travel the world and live? Right, right. And even after I was uh, divorced, mm -hmm. I traveled alone all over. I even went to uh, Pula, Croatia for a, uh, a month one year. Is that where you're descended from, Croatian? Uh, generally, from then that, from that, that, that area. That region somewhere. Now, you are, by the way, let me put your title up, because it's a mouthful for me, Janie? Jerkovich, author and spiritual medium. Right. And by the way, your website is the new I am movement dot com. Right. The new I am movement dot com. Tell me about uh, first of all uh, your book, the one we're going to talk about today. I think I have a picture of it. I'll put up. Is it that okay. one? This one. Yeah. The new I am document volume one. Is this the one you said you downloaded? Yes, it is. Um, you got to start from scratch and tell our viewers what that means. Okay, it doesn't mean uh, download it on a computer. It means learning how to sit quietly and um, uh, connect. I call it connecting to all that is. And um, I, had, I could hear or feel uh, ascended masters or archangels giving me messages. And they actually, they warned me that they were gonna do it before it started. Mm -hmm. And they were routinely waking me up about three in the morning and um, telling me, first they told me, get some pens and paper ready. So I did that, and then they would wait, wait you me You had them up. on your nightstand, so to speak, right, or right. something so like that. Right, right, so I could get up and write. And they would wake me up about 3 in the morning, and I'd go sit in my chair. I called it my thinking chair. Mm -hmm. And I'd sit quietly, and I would just write it as fast as I could. And I actually, I'd go back to sleep when I first started because... It was exhausting. I was going to say, they and, don't yet. And then yeah. you'd wake up in the morning, you go, I don't even, I remember I got up and did that, but I don't remember what it was. Wow. So I'd get up and read it, and then I'd go, oh my goodness, there's something to this, because I'm not this, that smart to make it up. Right. So um, I just kept doing it. It ended up being 100 lessons, and wow. it is, um, it, the book explains why we are here and the lessons we are to learn, the first 100 lessons. And I was told that I'm to download three of them, three volumes in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. And the second volume I've already downloaded, but I haven't started the, so the publishing. The, the one you have with you, Jay, that's number one. This that's one number think. one. Yeah. And um, it's, it's amazing because I would call, describe myself as a former uh, spiritually starved workaholic. So I was... You know, I wasn't real religious growing up. I mean, I did go to church, and I would consider myself a Christian, and I still do. Uh, but it's it wasn't like, you know, like some families where it's, you know, every Sunday and during the week and all that kind of stuff. It wasn't like that. Um, and then I really grew, grew away from going to church. Um, but spirituality encompasses everyone and all religions because mm -hmm. the gist of it is... All religions lead, and even spirituality, they all lead to the same place, and that is a place that we are all connected to the divine, the divine mm -hmm. however we describe it in our uh, personal thinking. And it's just different. One way to think of it, they're just different paths. Different religions are different paths to get to the same place, realizing that we are all connected, that we're all part of the divine. We're all connected to each other. We're connected to the animals and birds and environment. And um, that's the... the yeah, actually, the most important message in this book is that we are all connected. We're all connected. Now, you got the message from the archangels or mm -hmm. whoever it was. You're going to get 100 lessons. Right. And you got them. You wrote them down. Does this book contain the 100 or is it? Uh, it has 100. Oh, they're and in the, this book. Okay. And the volume two has another 100. Oh, another 100. They're a little bit more uh, detailed and specific. Right. They kind of build on each other. Can you give us some examples? Oh, um Oh, gee, it's been so long since I read it. Um, let's see. Let me just pick one. Like, are they ethical lessons? or? Yes, it's things like that. Okay. It's um, They explain what the game of life is, what that really, really means. Um, 
one of the things that's got that I can still read without my glasses is subconscious thoughts, which is manifestation, will equal conscious thoughts, mm. and that will equal your reality. Wow. Yeah. So um, if you're just starting on your spiritual path, that might be a little bit hard to grasp, but once you try to learn it, you'll start seeing examples of whatever the lesson is all over. Um, uh, one, here's a lesson here, many paths to God. That's what I was just talking mm -hmm. about, how everybody's got their own way. Like some people um, are Catholic and other people are the Buddhist, Buddhist example, or yeah. something. Well, or, or something totally different and then other people think, oh, they're, they're not like us. And No, actually their religion teaches yeah. the same uh, messages. It's just, it's kind of like wherever you grow up, everybody eats different foods depending right. on what part of the country or the world you live in um, and maybe you have a maybe your dream mm -hmm. car is a red corvette and somebody else's is a, a four-door white sedan and so everybody wants something different it's just different ways to get to the same place because if you if you only sold if you only sold white four-door sedans not everybody would want one right. So religions give you uh, choices. And choices. And now, I, this dawned on me when I was a young kid, little kid, that you know we're in church and we're the way, we're the true religion, we're the only way. And I think, wait a minute, what if like people are in Buddhists or people in Islam or right. or whatever? That's not. A, I don't believe that's a good thing to teach your children, yeah. and that's. Well, that's, that's what religion a, teaches. Them. Right. Some re, some religions teach they're the only way, and yeah. I don't. I even as a child, I thought, well, that's awfully weird because it just didn't. It didn't sit right. Actually, the reason is it didn't feel right mm -hmm. because feelings are, are key. That's Everybody has, if they could get in touch with their feelings, it's a guidance system. Right. And it'll, it'll, you'll be able to tell what's right and wrong and whether or not you should do something. Now, are your books, uh, they're about the 100 lessons, but do they include how people could get there themselves spiritually? Um, I think you get there by reading the lessons and trying to encompass the lesson into your life. So you can, and, and I don't recommend just sitting down and reading the whole book at once. Oh, I yeah, recommend I oh, yeah. just got to let it soak in. Right, right. I maybe would even recommend one a day or yes or less. Maybe or less. once once a week, okay. one a week, and then try to think about that lesson as you live your life that week. Because you will, if you focus on it, you'll start seeing opportunity after opportunity. Like uh, one of the lessons had to do with um, how things appear to others. Mm -hmm. So. Some people uh, think something's bad, but it might actually be like a certain certain things happen and people go, oh, well, it's me, that's terrible. But actually it could be that there's more to the story than what, you know, maybe that is, like for instance, if you got fired, maybe you got fired because you sh should have been on a different path. Maybe mm -hmm. you needed to be right. an entrepreneur and start your own business and something that would help more people. Um, it, it's, that kind of, it's that kind of thing. Now, when you were, you're downloading this, you're writing it. Did you later type it, or yes, yes. So I I like to handwrite it, mm -hmm. and it might get sloppy and messy, and then um, and then later go back and and type it, okay. and then of course and do you, you had change to be a lot, or you try to keep no. The, it's almost it's almost verbatim. That's, this is it would only be um, very uh, like maybe your tense or something, or mm -hmm. have an er or ed yeah. or something like now, that. Now before that, were you a writer? I was I was a writer. I had, but but a fairly new one. Mm -hmm. um, basically, about nine years ago, I had a life change. So I became single, and I was 60 years old, mm -hmm. and I didn't really like my life because I was working like three jobs and yeah. exhausted, trying to survive. Right, trying to you know not lose my house after my spouse left and that kind of thing. And I just started a new new uh, job on commission. So like mm -hmm. what a double whammy, and. Um, so I just, my biggest concern was not just surviving, but how am I gonna live the rest of my life? Because I knew that wasn't working. And I didn't wanna live my life working that hard and not really getting to enjoy anything. So um, my first books are del uh, from that. The, uh, are those these books up yes, here? Yes, they are. We call it the trilogy. Uh -huh. uh, but it's, it's part of a series, uh, Live Your Best Life, uh, Janie J's Live Your Best Life series. And um, the first book, Live the Life You, Imagine is a book that of what I learned on how to get your life in order, like getting enough sleep, eating right, exercise, meditation, 
and there's quite a few things in there about how to get along with people. It's about 30 lessons. And, and there's a YouTube series that goes along with this, right? Um, there, I do have a YouTube channel for Janie J, and they talk. I talk a lot about that. Um, so that's what that series is about. The, the, then there's a companion journal that's one of the books that was shown. The third book was called Single and 60, and that's my, uh, it's in the middle picture. It, that's, Single and 60. And that's sure what it's sounds like. familiar to me. <laughs> and uh, that's what it's like to be 60 years old and find yourself suddenly single. And so that's more like the, some of the things I had to go through, not just like listing, well, you need to do this, 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 but it's more like showing you in a funny way, kind of mm -hmm. like I, I say it's like Irma Bombeck, if anybody remembers sure her. Because um, a lot of stuff is funny, trying to keep up my little ranch and fix things while I'm trying to work as a real estate broker um, and, and keep some money coming in. Uh, but it's, it's basically, um, it's not a slam your ex book. It's not a how-to book. It's more of um, encouraging you that if you know if she could do it and these were her obstacles then maybe life's not so bad and you can do whatever you need to or it could be a fun summer read um, you don't have to be single and you don't have to be divorced um, it's really a kind of a fun book for anybody so those were my first books and uh, uh, what's interesting is the very first one live the life you have imagined I actually um, was I was told to write the books you know, the Ascended Masters that were talking to me told me to write these books, um, but they also gave me the lessons, mm. uh, the 30 lessons that I talk about. In the, and um, when that happened, I was driving down the street. I'd been thinking about all this stuff. How am I going to keep my head above water? I really need to get, you know, a handle on, I got to lose some weight, and I, I need to have quiet time, and I, I need to, I have, wasn't getting enough sleep. I was totally sleep deprived for probably 20 years. And boy, just that in itself will totally change your life because right. if you're sleep deprived, it's like being drunk. So that's about how I felt. Uh, but I got, I was driving, and one day I got a download, but I didn't know what it was at the time. All these uh, suggestions were churning around in my head. And I started going, man, this is really good. So I pulled over and I wrote down for like 40 minutes. Oh my goodness. And um, and that's that's basically the the title of for each chapter, each subject. I titled them differently, but it's all about the 30 different things uh, you need to do to get your life in order. And that is actually a book that's really great for anybody. Yeah. Also, you don't have to be single and you don't have to be divorced. But I was afraid to tell anybody that's what it I was bet. I bet because I didn't step. know what it was. Yeah. And then I thought, well, if I tell anybody, they're going to say I'm wacko. Mm -hmm. But um, I was doing an interview one day, uh, a podcast for some um, two ladies that had a podcast that are pretty good friends, and they're uh, pretty religious. And so it's it just popped out, and then I realized, well, it seemed like a safe environment. Mm -hmm. So then I learned, and my publicist, marketing person said, you're going to have to come out, like come out of the <laughs> come closet. Out, yeah. <laughs> And start telling people. So I slowly started telling people that I was, um, you know, that I could connect. It, it's I look at it like um, I can connect. I have the ability to connect to beings in other realms to um, impart knowledge because I think that since we're all connected, there's this big all that all that is. And if you can tap in, then you can ask anything you want. Mm. And I remember, you know, daily I would have conversations with my, what I call spirit guides, to get guidance and a answer questions and stuff. And I, when they were telling me that you could do this, I mean, I thought it was strange. And I said, you mean it's like a giant Google? Yeah. And they said, yes. Wow. And so, um, I mean, because I would ask all sorts of questions. And I would do this in my quiet time. And I guess I was meditating before I knew what meditating was. But I was really searching hard for answers. But um, I would um, ask a lot of questions and get and get the answers. And it was it it helps you you can move your life forward like so much faster. Um, and then later on, I realized you know I I could I connected with, I wanted to speak to some family members that had passed and ask some different questions to kind of get some closure and understanding. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, man, if I can do that, I could probably talk to anybody. I could probably talk to, you know, George Washington or Thomas Jefferson or something like that. So I started doing that. 
And I'm actually working on another book called Soul Connections in the draft form. And it's, I think I have about 20 of them where I have uh, connected to well-known people and asked questions. And they don't always answer what you think they might answer, right. which is interesting because it's, you know, I, I don't know that much about these people. Um, I mean, just what you learn in school and stuff sure. like that, if, if you even do that. So the stuff that I'm learning is not all in the history book or anything. Mm. So it's not like I'm going and researching in it and copying it. It's um, very, it's very it's interesting. It's, it has stuff. to be coming from them because it's very interesting. One, one I remember um, was Isaac Newton, and I was asking him something about uh, one of his theories, like, I don't know, theory of relativity or I, I don't remember which one. And, and I said, how did you come up with that? And he said, well, that it came to him in a dream, and he, and he set out to prove it. And he didn't want to tell anybody it came in a dream because it wouldn't be accepted. And I thought, well, that's pretty amazing. But then after that, later on, um, like oh, a year later, I ran across some books ab about him saying that, showing that how spiritual he was. Mm -hmm. And But I guess it wasn't published or known when he was alive. So well, it sounds like uh, people, if they can open themselves up to this. Exactly. I always say, I have to shut off all that sound in my head. And I used to really practice this meditate and let everything go right and then in would flow all this information that's exactly i just what didn't happens. know but it's kind of the same right what you're talking about right because right. when i decided that i needed to fix my life and i learned how to sit quietly yeah um i was amazed first of all it feels wonderful yeah. to not have to all these stuff For chatter. Viewers, good luck <laughs> doing that <'cause laughs> well actually if you want to know how to do yeah. it you can go to my website okay uh the new i am movement.com and there is a thing on the first page that is called um, Connect to Transform. And that's the method I use to get relaxed mm -hmm. in, a state, in, a, in a quiet space and learn to listen. Right. Most people and, don't know how to do it. They don't know they should do it. But now we're hearing it, you should do it. And maybe Janie could give you some tips. The new IamMovement.com, they'll learn about that. They'll learn about the books. What else is on the website? There's. Uh, plenty of information there's a lot of videos and people can also go to my YouTube channel Janie J Soul Connector there's over 50 videos many of them talk about their little snippets out of this book and the volume 2 that's not yet released um, and there's other things where I discuss uh, spiritual type questions like like I had friends that they knew me and they trusted me but they didn't understand like how I could do this mm -hmm. So some of it's talking about that. And I also did a 20-minute um, a uh, movie for um, Amazon Prime, but it hasn't aired. Oh. Um, and it's about what it's like to be a medium. So nice. you can access all that on the YouTube channel. I have channel. Amazon Prime, but that's going to come out. Um, this is fascinating. We've gone way over time. Because I'm you're sorry. fascinating, the subject is fascinating. I'm going to read this book. Okay. But also, I think I'm going to gift it to a bunch of people, too. You know? Okay. I always say that to our viewers. Buy 10 copies. Just Oh, know. it's definitely. I've had people do that. Yeah. Yeah. Gift them away. Anything else you want our viewers to know? No, we barely, just, just, we barely scratched just the surface. Just visit no. uh, www.thenewimmovement.com and find out more. Find out more. Uh, thanks you. Thank you, Janie Jerkovich. Why don't you back? You don't have to come back once a month and uh, maybe go Happy over to. a lesson or two every month. Uh, we'll be back with more authors right after this.